in laser interferometer laser is used as a light source laser has properties similar to normal light it can be represented as a sine wave whose wavelength remain the same for a given color more importantly laser has certain additional properties that are not possessed by ordinary light first it has a bandwidth of 0.4 to 0.5 micrometer and thus provides a monochromatic light and it avoids requirement of any light filters in the system second laser rays are all in phase producing a coherent beam of light while in normal light the rays are randomly phased resulting in partial interference within the beam third is the rays in laser beam are perfectly parallel with little divergence and scatter which avoids the use of collimating lenses in the system now come to the construction of this laser interferometer here a helium neon gas laser is used which provide an intensity of light 1000 times more than any other monochromatic light apart from this it consists of two semi reflectors a part of incident light is transmitted and a part is reflected by this semi reflectors now these are two photodiodes which detects interference fringes amplifier amplifies the signal obtained from these photodiodes now the signal from amplifier is fed to the digital counter which counts the number of fringes obtained and is calibrated to give displacement in mm another element is a retro reflector which is a moving unit this unit is normally fixed on cnc machine tables or slides whose movement need to be measured this reflector is a glass disc whose back surface now this back surface is made of glass and has three polished faces that are mutually at right angles to each other retro reflector reflects light at an angle of 180 degree regardless of the angle at which light is incident now this laser source two photodiodes and this semi reflector these all are housed in laser head and this laser head is kept fixed now come to working of this laser interferometer now the ray coming out of laser source reaches to first semi reflector a part of it is reflected here and a part of it is transmitted here now this transmitted ray travels this path and again reaches to second semi reflector here the reflected ray from the first semi reflector and this transmitted ray from the first semi reflector both reaches to second semi reflector and here they two combine this is the path traveled by this reflected light that is pf and this pqrs is the path traveled by the transmitted ray now these two together combined and reaches to photodiode when these two rays combine here they produce interference fringes now depending upon the difference in distance traveled by these two rays so first ray is uh, this one this reflected ray which travels a distance of pf and another one is this one which is transmitted from first semi reflector this distance this distance traveled is pqrs now difference of these two that is pqrs minus pf if this difference is odd multiple of half wavelength of the wave the laser wave which is coming out of here then you will get a dark band similarly if this difference pqrs minus ps is even multiple of half wavelength of this laser then you will get a light band so during this movement of retro reflector this retro reflector moves along with the machine slide so during this movement here in photodiode you will get alternately dark band and light band these fringes are transferred to amplifier and through amplifier it is transferred to digital counter now this digital counter counts the number of dark and light bands during the movement of this retro reflector and 
calibrated it is calibrated and it converts that into distance traveled by this retro reflector in this way whatever distance is traveled by this retro reflector which is mounted on a slide will be determined through this digital counter now this second photodiode is used to determine direction of movement of this retro reflector whether it is going right side or left side that is determined using this second photodiode normally these interferometers are used to calibrate axis movement of cnc machine tools thank you for watching this video